Okay, this is the JF200. This is a dual tower with two 120mm fans. So, let's get in. Yes, they are the supports for there. LGA 1366, why haven't you had that for years? Uh, 1200, 15, 17, 2011, AM4, but because of the back plate that's with AM5, that's compatible with AM4 coolers, you should be fine. And the overall size is big, so okay. So you are greeted with the in go. And so this would be a installation guide. So that's LGA, and it's kind of big as usual and okay oh we've got another certificate nice okay so that is what's all included that's everything much better uh, okay. oh, 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 oh. put that back right so whoops So, M4. Screws. Wait, actually, no. That looks like M4. Then we've got some of these screws. We've got the nose. Oh, we've got a back plate, which is for, I'm assuming, LGA 1700. For more screws. Washers. More screws. No thermal paste, no thermal bits, really. Ah, oh, shot. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Right. So, got foam. Ooh. Look how big that is. Wow. That is huge. So, here we go. This thing is absolutely massive. Get rid of the box. Oh, wow. Look at that. The size of that. Oof. Wow. Whoa. So, this has got six heat pipes. Or is that more? Let's actually have a look, check. Too many heat pipes, it says. Yeah, six heat pipes, and look at the size of this. This looks absolutely enormous. I mean, it's got the cutouts for here for tall ram, and oh well, this one look is actually an actual base plate, which is nice to see instead of basic. But this is probably the more of a premium product. Just look at the sheer size on this booty. I like the overall look, and oh, we got another peel. If I could get it off, Let it <laughs> okay, right. So let's take these clips off. If I can get, Is that one? Uh, yeah, I don't like these clips. Okay, never mind. Right. <laughs> Sorry about that, but the way it's mounted is like that. So you'd have to take off the middle fan to actually mount it. Then you'd have to mount the middle fan, then this one, and look at that. Can you see the big problem by here? Yes, it is four pin, which is good. It's four pin PWM, but we've got this oh, accumulation of wires. Yes. Like squiggly D. Now, yes, I do like the fact that it is four pin PWM. It's a lot easier than three pin because with four pin you can actually control it through your motherboard, and three pin you can't because it runs off DC. And yes, it is three pin ARGB, so it means you can daisy chain this with the the rest of your case fans, and that's pretty much it, guys. This now I will be making sure to do a review 5900X. And of course, we're going to have a, some 
Nice. B roll to see what it looks like. Lift up. So, bye. So then, what do you think? Big, uh, big cooler mind, isn't it? <laughs> very big. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a very big, big cooler. And overall, very good. As you can see, it's in the system right here. Now, I will be doing reviews on this and the other two included. I have all, I have done all the testing and that is all done. So, you've just got to wait for the reviews, which will be coming shortly. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And as usual, this is Richard Welsh there. Goodbye.